if you enjoy what you do, you'll never work another day in your life. Oh man, that is one thing that nobody really uh, talks about too much is how the mountains look uh, in the evenings and for sunsets and in the mornings for sunrises. When we come into work and see that kind of stuff, we have the mountain all to ourselves. It's a lot nicer than having to share it with 10, 15,000 other skiers. Grooming is the preparation of snow, putting it into a product that we can manage. It's a combination of, of a big video game, the ultimate off-road vehicle, and a piece of heavy equipment. Snowcat driving is one of those things I've always wanted to do. Probably one of the most exciting things about grooming for me is the potential to sculpt this snow into whatever I want it to be. As we're cruising around these trails, we're actually traveling on a set of metal strips, our grousers, and those kind of give you the feeling of that track, gives you a, a kind of a bumpier ride. As a groomer, the most important thing I want to make sure of is that the surface that I leave behind is smooth and consistent, and most skiers really relate that to nice corduroy. That's what they look forward to. I tell my students it's like having a, a turbocharged pallet knife because you're, you're dealing with a medium like snow that is constantly changing and grooming is a finesse thing. It's not burly macho stuff. The machine is doing the burly macho stuff and a tremendous light touch needed to be a good groomer. Colorado is the epicenter of the ski industry in North America. and. So what better place to have students learn about the ski industry? When I was in 10th grade, I kind of knew I wanted to be a groomer. And uh, I've been looking forward to doing it ever since. We're at Ski Cooper, outside of Leadville, Colorado. This is the home of the 10th Mountain Division, the fabled ski troops of uh, World War II. You know, they came to the high altitude to get specialized mountain training for their troops. I think we're kind of keeping that, that spirit alive when we train the students at the same altitude, at the same location that the 10th Mountain Division troops trained at. It's definitely fun operating a snowcat. I love it. It's great. It still feels like a monster underneath me. You know, it's nice and big and has power and it's me and the cat. So it's a really, really fun experience. The first grooming implement was called a Bradley Packer and it was terrifying. And you're taking your life in your own hands when you use a Bradley Packer too. And the skier is the propelling device for the whole machine down the mountain. I wouldn't groom if I had to use a Bradley Packer. There's no way, no way. It doesn't get much better than this in terms of an office. I'll put my office view against anybody in the countries.